Now these have been the craziest couple of days for the entire crypto market, for Bitcoin and for the rest of all coins, especially for Bitcoin and things have not looked this bad in years and for early investors, this might actually be your very first bear market. And it seems like all you see is how the entire market is coming to a crash, how we could go into a recession, so things are looking very gloomy for us right now. So if your portfolio has taken a bit hit and you have no idea what to do, then I'm here to let you know that you are in the right place right now. So in today's video, we are going to discuss what you should be doing right now as an investor in order to get ahead of the market, in order to profit from this market, and also make more money while everyone else is losing money in this market. As always, if you enjoy this type of content, then please be sure to give this video a like and subscribe for more. And with that being said, let's get into it. Now, aside from the massacre that we had from the crypto market, and aside from Terra, the rest of the crypto market has seen a small bounce. That has been led by ADA, AVAX, and DOT. We have also seen Bitcoin finally go through a small relief bounce resulting in a $6,000 green candle. Now, most altcoins, though, also joined the ride with massive price increases. Now, if you made it this far into crypto, then you have survived a very violent week. Bitcoin first dumped by $4,000 within hours before going below $34,000 just a few days later. Then it dipped below well under $30,000 for the first time since July 2021 on May 10th. Nevertheless, though, the crypto market cap has recovered $150 billion. Now, with the current market being bearish and everyone having in fears of a recession, I would not be surprised if Bitcoin dipped again in June and taking a look at the current sentiment, we are still in fear mode across markets. Now the graph here shows hundreds of millions of dollars worth of liquidations and just looking at Bitcoin and not even considering altcoins. Now when it comes to Bitcoin and the fundamental analysis of Bitcoin, nothing has changed. And you have to remember that even though we are seeing a lot of fear in the market and we have seen that fear on many people and seeing how much down your portfolio really is, it really is a nightmare for most investors. But I believe that this is a huge opportunity because you're gonna be able to buy at a much lower price and buying to prices that you were not able to buy before. Now, Bitcoin adoption is still increasing and we are still getting lower prices for Bitcoin. And I see this as a very high opportunity to get in early and to invest money that you are willing to lose. It's also important to slowly dollar cost average into the market because even though we have already seen what everyone has been calling the bottom for Bitcoin, the truth is that no one can time the market, no one has a crystal ball to tell the future. And one of my very favorite quotes to live by is from Peter Lynch, who said, far more money has been lost by investors preparing for corrections or trying to anticipate corrections than it has been lost in corrections themselves. So the very first thing that everyone should do is to not panic. Basically, it is far better to stay invested during a market crash or correction than trying to time the market, which results in the selling of your cryptocurrency. So then the best thing that we can do is to just look at investing as a long-term way to get wealthy instead of just trying to make a ton of money overnight. And we actually have a very nice looking graph here, which shows the Bitcoin price and the likelihood of your return investment during different times in history. You see, in a span of 10 years, Bitcoin has brought a return of over 600,000% compared to gold, which has brought a return of only 16%, and the S&P 500, which has brought a return of 194%. Now, I've said this over and over again, Time in the market is far better than timing the market. So we pretty much want to copy the best of the best and think long-term when it comes to investing and just expand our time horizon. Because the truth is that the blueprint is already there and all we need to do is follow it. Sure, some people could argue that investing strategies have changed over the years, but staying invested in the market has proven to bring more and better returns of your money than trying to time the market. So moving on, there are only two things not to do in a market crash and they are panic selling and trying to time the market, which you will notice that I will go over a lot in this video. Because the most sure way to lose your money in the market is to panic sell. Because this leads to trying to time the market and thinking, oh, well, if I sell now, well, I can just buy in lower. And that's not the case. And there hasn't been anybody at all that has been able to properly time the market and sure, they could even be right half the time, but being right half the time could be devastating to you and your portfolio. So in this chart, we have Bitcoin and here we can see all the different times that it has dropped. And the problem is that you actually have no idea how far these are going to drop. And trying to time this is impossible. And a lot of times when the drop happens, the rebound can be just as fast. 
So it's almost like trying to catch a falling knife. And if you miss out on just a couple of the best trading days in the market, then this could actually be very devastating to your portfolio. So then what should we do during a market crash and how can we benefit and make more money than everyone else right now? Well, number one, the best thing that you should do is to dollar cost average. And just keep in mind that not even God himself can beat dollar cost averaging. So let me give you an example of the power of DCA. In June 2008, the price on a Vanguard fund was $11.36 per share. If you were to invest $10,000, then you would have bought 800 shares at once. Now, if you had divided in dollar cost average and decided to invest $1,000 every single month, you would have bought 88 shares in June 2008 and every month thereafter. And at the end of April 2009, the price of that Vanguard fund would be at $9.30. And the investor that decided to invest everything at once or in a lump sum would have about $8,191 while the investor that decided to dollar cost average into the fund would have almost $9,738. So as the market is crashing, you are buying into the market every single month, no matter what happens. So you're buying the way down, on the way up, sideways, and the same process works no matter what. You will be making a lot more money from dollar cost averaging instead of trying to time the market. And this is the best way to make a ton, a ton of money from a market crash. To conclude, here we have Bitcoin since inception to now, and here we can see all the ups and downs and crashes of the crypto market from the last 10 years. We are here right now, so you can see when it comes to the market, it has always recovered and has gone to set an all-time high time and time again, especially when fundamentals are intact and are only getting better. And the reality is that you're literally guaranteed to make money over a 10 year or 20 year time frame, regardless of what the market does in the short term. And I say this because from all the information and history of the stock market and cryptocurrency market, a 10 year period has not once produced a negative return. And remember that time in the market will always, without a doubt, beat time in the market. So now you probably know more to 90% of people in regards to market crashes. But downturns in the market happen from time to time. And the worst thing that you can do is trying to time the market or panic sell. And the best thing that you can do is to dark cost average and invest throughout the lows and highs. So now this gives you all the tools you need to prepare for any market crash in the future. And so I hope that this video gives you all the tools you need to make money even during stock market or crypto market crashes because all the same rules apply. And if you have been hurt by all this price action, then just know that it's going to be okay. I've been seeing and reading all these comments from people that have been hurt by the Luna situation and the cryptocurrency crash overall and it's not pretty. But you just know that it's not the end if you're young and are able to work and make money then don't worry, you will make it back in time. There's no need to believe that it's the end, it's not. Just be patient, and again, it's just money and you can make it back. And if you're trying to get your hands on free crypto, then you can get up to $500 worth of free cryptocurrency using my links in the pinned comments down below. And you can also get $100 for signing up with iTrust Capital for your IRA. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. And if you found this video useful, then please be sure to share it, like, and subscribe. Until next time.